Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Design News. Today we're going to check out some incredible news updates, including Google's new set of tools for job preparation, design jobs, etc. Also a set of new design courses. We'll be checking out 3M's design tool, which is going to fix your designs for good. A plugin for Figma that allows you to control the camera app with your Figma prototype, which is kind of crazy. So without further ado, let's just get started with the video. All right, so the first thing we're looking at is VAS or Visual Attention Software by 3M. This is the same company that makes tapes for walls, which is kind of crazy. So this is essentially a tool that allows you to insert your mockups, your UI designs, your product designs, whatever you're looking for. And it allows you to see where people will look where people's attention is truly going through an AI based software. E and each project can get a customized insight report by this tool. So it, it can get insights for areas of interest. It can get insights for visual elements. It even has something called gaze sequence, which means where is the user looking first? Where is the user looking second, third, fourth? What is the order of the uh, user's eyes. And on top of that, if you're using Photoshop, Illustrator or XD, they have plugins for your Adobe suite as well. So you can use it inside your XD or Photoshop softwares. Apart from that, you can just sign in into their website and check out the slew of incredible things that you can do with this tool. All right, so a new product design course is underway and it's by UI Learn. And all you need to do is enter your name and your email address and this will be this course will be shipped to your email after 27th of May, which is exactly tomorrow. They cover everything from intro to UX design to working with type to information architecture to atomic design systems to UX writing, prototyping, everything in a simple course format. This is going to be super easy to access. It'll have articles, videos, everything you need to have a nice structure to have a product design career. Apart from that, they also have other services like, like they have a personalized feedback system. So if you've joined, say their UI learn, you'll be able to get feedback from actual product designers on your current designs. You'll get homework. You'll get, you'll be able to watch recorded lessons and you'll also be able to iterate on those ideas and come back to these people and they'll basically say yes okay this is great now diagram and jordan the people behind automator for figma are coming up with a new tool called prototyper for figma for example they've given me early access to this tool and i'm going to show you what incredible stuff you can do you'll be able to add code to any of your prototypes this is a framework based on framers library which is essentially there for motion and interaction so you're going to get so many cool new prototyping capabilities with this one of my favorite was the ability to play pong with your keyboard so right here as you can see i will be moving the right one with my up and down keys and W and S for the left one. So I'm playing essentially pay, playing Pong inside Figma, which is kind of crazy, isn't it? Place and you can make a calculator out of this. You can make a price out of this, whatever you like. Also, also this shown some sneak peeks on what they're working on. So you can get camera access to, to a prototype in Figma. So you'll be able to create actual camera apps. I'm sure there's capabilities to do some AR VR stuff as well. Upon that, there's upon that there's going to be no limit to, to what this tool can do. And you can even check out framers live already existing animation libraries to see what it is actually capable of. Interview warm up is a tool by Google itself. Grow.google slash certificate slash interview warm up. It allows you to warm up for interviews of any kind. So if you're a UX designer, it has UX design interviews, data analytics, data analytics interviews. So you basically have to answer questions and you have to speak to answer these questions and the tool will respond based on that. And it's an automated tool which allows you to access all the incredible questions that Google has prepared and you can keep on practicing either new questions or old questions. So if you had old questions you've worked on, you can practice those as well. So it kind of saves your progress through this interview warm up app. For example, all I need to do is just start here. I'll activate my mic from here as well. 
Let's practice an interview for UX design. Please tell me why you would be a why you would be a good fit for this role. I believe that I not only fit the requirements of your company's job description, but I also have some really unique skills and talents across UI and UX, including things like interaction. I'm great at 3D and I also have built my own teams before. So that's going to help me become a great leader in the future as well. So it records that and you can check out your answer, whatever you've spoken about. You say got it, you can edit it and then you move on to the next question. Google has recently launched its new set of icons, which are the material symbols with, with the new material 3.0. You can change it from fill to outline. You can change the actual weight, whatever you like. It's a really cool tool here. The grade, of course, on how uh, bright or thick it should be. And then you can just click on it, either copy the embed link and stuff like that, get the I icon font as well, or just download it as a PNG or SPG, which is required by UI designers. So my company Design Wings is organizing a free UX UI class this Saturday. So if you want to get in on this, use the link in the description. We'll be learning how designers use certain tactics to increase sales, to increase conversions, and actually get certain products to perform better with users. I'm sure a lot of you guys are Spline users, the tool that allows you to create 3D in your browser, use animations in 3D, etc. And it's incredible how it works with Figma and other tools. So somebody recently launched a new website called Spline Inspiration. So it's Spline Inspiration is the library which has a lot of free uh, child. So for example, there's this lightsaber, uh, which is created inside completely inside spline. As you can see, it loads up here and it's just and once it finally flashes on you as you can see, it looks like a real lightsaber. And it's incredible how how good looking and almost realistic this is created just in spline. You can even get the full file so that you can duplicate it and use it in your own projects with spline. I think this is a great website to get started with spline or to get great inspiration or mockups or starting positions for your designs from here. <laughs> now there's a really cool new plugin in Figma called Me Motion. This allows you to create animated or, you know, different expressions for different faces. So let's check this out real quick. So I go to a Figma file right here. I click on command P or control P. I bring up Memo, Memotion and it opens up a little pop-up right here. So it allows you to basically select whatever expressions you want. For example, this happy face. And then you can then edit the character as you like. You can pick from a multitude of characters, randomize it, shuffle it, etc. You can even choose what background colors you want. And there are not only these many right here. If you shuffle, you'll be able to see there are so many more emotions that you can get from. So you're basically allowing you to customize it completely and then insert it into your project rather than having just a set of and uh, you know a Japanese designer has created a list application made specially for creators designers architects etc so the whole concept is it's a very simple minimalistic application which allows you to set different uh, stages of a project. So if you're working on your personal project, you have five stages in that project. You can divide it into five dots and each dot represents a certain stage of that project. It's super simple and easy to use for designers. You can easily sign in with Google and it's completely secured with Firebase. So the person who's created it won't be able to check out your content or whatever. And also it's free for now. He might change it into like a paid app or something. All right, guys, that was it for design news. I don't know which number video this is, but thank you once again for 100,000 subscribers on this main channel. I, I appreciate you guys supporting the channel always. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for month, for weekly videos just like this. And hit the thumbs up if you like the video. I'll see you next time, same place, same time. Until next time, take care. God bless.